All right, this one's going to be on actually two scripts that does the same thing. Um, it will allow you to search for torrents from the command line. And, well, more specifically, it doesn't use the dot torrents. It uses magnet links. Hopefully, you guys know what it is. But if you don't, it's basically magnet links is torrents without downloading the dot torrents file, if you understand what I'm saying. All right. Um, and it uses... Uh, results from the Pirate Bay and the other one is from torrents with the Z.eu uh, so those are two sites that I'll use from okay anyway let's show you how it looks like the first thing you want to do though for both script is you know open the script and edit um, this line right here because you have to put um, was that these program variable in quotes I don't know that's just how I got it to work um, otherwise it doesn't work okay and you might want to do this for the program options too just in case although I don't use any um, extra options right and then when you did all that make sure you make an alias for your your scripts so my alias is just called TPB for the Pi Bay and then dash H we'll get some help here um, the first thing you want to do is set your torrent client. All right, so to set it, it's just uh, dash capital P here. So for example, I go dash P capital P here, and then you know, let's say for example, using I don't know K torrent or something, then you would do that. And then you look at the the help again, you update the K torrent. If you're doing like extra options, like um, I don't know, I think they had it by default is. Um, dash a or something then you can see that I'll say k torrent uh, dash a option and then the magnet links but if you're using um, the GTK version of transmission you don't have to do any arguments so let's go back to the capital P and you can actually put in the direct path if you want or the absolute path I mean so GTK and the other one is what is that the dash o we want nothing so we're just going to put quotes and then you know space and quotes and now when we do um a dash h it'll just look like this all right this and this nothing here and the magnet link uh and then now we can use it so if you go with the pirate bay and then search for let's say linux mint or something like that so by default they give you 15 results and these are you know the title of it, the size and the red numbers are I believe the cedars and the green ones the leechers okay so let me open my um, transmission here and now I just like a number I want to download from let's say I do number two and it's gonna pass it on to my torrent client right there um, and it'll probably take a little while if you ever use magnet links before it uh, is different from torrents because it has to connect to the peers and then afterwards it looks like you know uh, like normally how torrents will look like when you're downloading All right? but yeah that's that's for the, you know the pirate bay here and you can search for anything you want let's say for example what else is there like fedora or something like that right and then you can download that sucker too the other one is um, called uh, what was that uh, torrents EU and you can do the same stuff like um, you know search for Linux uh, mint again or whatever and I'll give you like different results this other side is kinda like a meta um, torrents basically they collect all the torrents from other sites um, so you might have more cedars here or whatever um, so that's pretty much it for these scripts you can go and download it just make sure you um, you know do that thing like I said before is to change your uh, your torrent client right and a any extra options if you need it for using with magnet links because they don't use the, the dot torrents okay They're, you're downloading nothing anyways uh, that's it for this one. Very cool scripts. Um, yeah, go try it.